once again what we are going to do now is to install fresh react application and install material ui as well all right so i already have my fresh react application being created by using the command npx create react app in the name of your project okay so always i do let's go to slc folder and then trash some files i don't need okay so i don't need the app.css i don't need app.txt logo.svg and report setup all this one i don't need it so let me trash it okay my application will crash so let's go to the files that needs all these files that we have just deleted so let's remove the import the um, this one because I have trashed it out save it let's go to that my application is running on this port it's okay so I see that it has been crashed so let's go to app.js file and delete the logo SVG because I have trashed it out and the app.css too I don't need it okay so let me even delete everything from here and start from scratch by creating my fresh component. I'm using this snippet RAFC, which is React Application Functional Component Export. I have this expansion extension we install as a ESC CS7. Um, this um, extension is really, really important and it makes your life easier. So if you have, if you don't have it, you can install ES7 React Redux GraphQL. Okay. So if you have it installed and you're creating a new component, you just type in the snippet, which is RAFCE, will give you auto import. And I have my app component created. Okay. So let me just dump in here as my app component and see if it is running. Okay. As you can see. It's running. I have my app this component here. So what we are going to do is to go to Material UI and install Material UI into our React application. So head over to Material UI dash Material dash UI dot com, and this is the page we are going to work with Material UI. Okay. So when you click on Get Started, it will give you the installation. So the first step is what let's install into application if you are using npm it's just as simple as npm install at material ui slash core but i'm using yarn so i'm gonna use i'll, I'll copy this yarn out at material ui dash slash core so let me go back to my react application terminal here let me cancel the server okay and then just paste it in here but well, I didn't copy it well copy it and then let me paste it on my terminal let me install it okay so while it is installing let's head over to our application and what you are going to do now is to create a nav bar okay a nav bar so we are going to make use of a component called app bar okay let's go to component and scroll down you will see navigation here the first one under surfaces we have navbar okay so before we dive in let me take you through the structure of the code you are going to work with the most common component we're going to use is the app bar the toolbar icon button and other stuff okay so i'll show you how to use this code here so let's head over to our project and then let's start creating our folders so the first one i'm going to make use of is called components this is what i'm going to house all my components and the first component i'm going to create is called let me create a folder a subfolder here as um, nav bar okay this is how i prefer to structure my application and inside my nav bar folder let me create a nav bar dot js all right so let's have the snippet our demo component structure and then let's just dump in here now okay 
okay how is that so let me import this component inside my parent component which is the app so instead of rendering this this app component from the app component we want to render our navbar component so i have the snippet auto import navbar when i click enter it will have my auto import as here okay so i have my navbar as that so let me refresh it as you can see it's crashed because I haven't started my server right so as soon as I start my server you see the number component being what created there okay so next let's have the structure of the app bar component we are going to make use of let me see there okay so let's head over to um, material UI website and when we click on this we have types of navbar the simple app bar and we have to scroll down here we have app bar with search field okay and we have app bar with menu okay so we are going to make use of all these app bars here so the first we are going to make use of is the simple one okay so after you know how to use this app bar we can make use of other style of app bar that you, you want all right so what you are going to make use of is the app bar component so inside of my app bar here inside my nav bar i have to import the app bar for material ui okay so let me head over here and just start in app bar auto import okay and i see that has been imported here for me so let me cut it and bring it below my react component React import as that. So let me make this one a React element as that. Okay, very good. So in here, I want to wrap all my sub component inside the app bar. Okay, so as you can see, let's head over to this um, project. So here inside, I want to have a typography. Let me look take you through what you are going to be looking at. So if you look at this one, as you can see, we have the typography text here, but instead of text, I use logo. So here, I will import typography from React Core as that. So next is we are going to put in some text inside typography. What typography does is that anytime you want to render or return some text like H1, Material UI gives us a nice tool called typography. Okay, so if you go over to Material UI website and you type in typography, okay, and then let's see what it does. As you can see, it is used to render text, for example, H1, H2, and other stuff. Okay, as you can see here, that's what we have H1, H2, A3. Okay, and it takes some couple of props. So let's go head over to that, and here. Let's just make this one education like that. That's the title of my app bar. When you go to application, as you can see, automatically you have our app bar being rendered with the typography text of education. Good. So if you look at the final project, I use logo. So we will come back to that. All right. So what you are going to do next is to put in some text here. And React, sorry, and Material UI mix is very simple by using a component called Tabs. Okay, so let's go over to Material UI website and let's search for Tabs. I prefer the search one. So as you can see, I have Tabs. Click on Tabs, and as you can see, we have a simple Tabs. As you can see, item one, item two, item three. This is how we want our application, our number to, to look like, as you can see the final one, okay. So you're going to make use of this um, component of um, tabs here inside our uh, application, okay. So let's go over to, so let's see how the app, the, tab, the tabs works. As you can see, when you open it, the final one, let's scroll down here, scroll down and you see the structure of the code. Okay, scroll down and let's see where they try to use it. As you can see, we have the tabs 
okay the parent and inside we have a children okay so that's what they're going to make use of so let's head over to our application and below our typography let's import the tabs okay sometimes the auto import doesn't work if it doesn't work you have to do it manually as you can see it works fine for me so inside my tabs we need what is called tabs okay tabs and these are the tabs the children let me say the test here the courses all you see here are for the tabs so in here let's import the tab component as you can see auto import for me and before that okay let me close it here like that so these tabs take some couple of props okay the first one is a label the label gives you the title of the tab you want to use so the first one is what if you can see it's courses okay so let's let's write courses here as the first one let's visit as you can see we have it here as what courses okay but um sorry before i do that as you can see we have a nasty layout like that so mistake on my side that we have to after our nap up bar we have to wrap with what two bar okay that give us a, a default styling of our application so here under the app bar sorry here let's import the two bar okay auto import doesn't come to let's do it manually two bar and let's cut it here and wrap everything inside the app bar like that save it let's go to application as you can see we have a nice layout as that so we need how many tabs we need we need one two three four five six okay so let's copy all of these tabs here and paste to make our life easier two three four five and six so the first one as you can see we have six here so the first the first uh, the next one will be let me go back to the final application is fees okay so here will be what fees next one will be parents account parent account next one will be holidays here as what holidays next one will be openings okay so you can make you can make use of any test that you want okay so as that so let's go back to application as you can see we have the courses everything here nice being laid out there so we are going to make use of the last one here called the button okay the profile so let's use just a button here so we are sorry a material i also makes it really simple to use the button component to display it like that so let's go back to uh, material eye component website and let's search for button here as you can see um, let me have it here okay the button here so we are going to make use of this button here to render that on our nav bar okay so you can make use of default primary secondary and other stuff so inside um, my tabs above as you can see the nav bar after the tabs okay we are going to place a button here so let's import it as button for material ui core okay let's see whether it's imported correctly for me it doesn't so let me do it manually sometimes the import fails so let's head over to the button component and then use some styles inside so as you can see i label inside my button here i label it as profile save it go out application as you can see sorry we have it here but it doesn't look nice so let's pass in some props the first prop is a color okay and we're going to use the secondary color okay it takes in the color okay, save it as you can see we have it like that very good 
So the next one is a variant that give you the style of the button or the outline or contain. Okay, make it contain is how you see it. If you make it outline, let's save it as that. So depending on how you want it. So let me make it what contain like that. Okay, don't worry about the styling. We will tackle about the theming and style these now bars, colors, and suit our application need. Okay. So basically that's how we create a nav bar with material UI. But let's look at the responsiveness, whether it is responsive or not. As you can see, it looks ugly. All of the big clusters as I reduce the size of my browser. Okay. So in the next lesson, we will still talk about the nav bar. We haven't finished yet. We want to make it responsive and using drawer in your application. So in the next lesson, we will start with the theming and start applying the colors that we need in your application.